It's social media tip time. Hi everybody, I'm Carrie Kirpin from the KBuzz, and today's tips are on Twitter for your Rock MS team. And let's get started now. Let's first very briefly talk about what Twitter is. Twitter is a microblogging site that allows you to answer the question, what's happening in 140 characters or less? Now your first question might be, who cares what's happening? Who cares what I'm doing? But the truth is, Twitter is much more than a 140 character status update. It's an ability to share links, pictures, and more with people who follow you. This is the fastest growing social media site with growth of over 1,300% this year. And the number one reason that you want to consider using Twitter for fundraising and for really connecting and growing your walk team is the phenomenal search functionality. You know, we'll talk more about this later, but Twitter is a really open network. You know, you can search conversation and join a conversation without ever having met someone simply based on common interests or, you know, interest in starting a conversation. Okay, so let's start with our first tip, which is getting started. You know, when you create a Twitter profile, you have an opportunity to have a profile picture. And what we've provided you with is a customized Twibbon. Now on Twitter, a funny little thing is that everybody changes words uh, to start with TW. So your peeps or your tweets, your friends or your twins, you know, all of those things. TW uh, is everything customized. And your, your ribbon is your twibbon. And there's a ribbon that goes across your profile picture to show that you support a cause. This is very commonly done. The Susan G. Komen Foundation does it. A lot of people do it. And, you know, we are very excited to provide you with your own customized twibbon, which are the signature footprints for Walk MS. All of your followers will know that this cause is very important to you if you add the twibbon. Tip number two, you want to get searching. I want you to go to search.twitter.com. And the reason I want you to go there is I want you to just type in keywords that you think people might be talking about when connecting and talking about multiple sclerosis. You can search multiple sclerosis. You can search MS. You can search things about walking for MS. And the amazing thing when you do this on search.twitter.com is you can do an advanced search and search for people in your area who are talking about this and people who might really be apt to contribute to your team or to at least join your team or to spread the word about your team. You know, that's a really incredible opportunity. So you want to search and you can do an advanced search to really geo-target your search. And tip number three, you want to get following. You want to, once you're searching and finding people who are talking about MS or people who are in your community and talking about things that are relevant to you, you want to follow them. And when you follow them, they'll follow you back. Not only do you get to see what they're talking about, but you have an opportunity to share what you're talking about. And that's an incredible opportunity to connect with people who you never met before. You'll see here you have the ability to follow MS underscore bloggers, which is a community of people who blog exclusively about MS. Think of the press opportunity. If you have a really great story with your walk, you can have some bloggers pick it up and have some really great press around it. So I'm really excited to bring you these three, three tips on Twitter, and I hope that you read up on some of the information on it and get started today.